this is Dr. Janet Bruno and today I want to talk about a very important topic and that is high blood pressure also known as hypertension and what I want to address today is how to optimally manage hypertension with food now most of you probably realize that hypertension in adults in particular is very common and in places where meat is the staple you will always find a greater percentage of hypertension compared to those areas where the staple foods are more plant-based. In fact, it has become an ad addictive habit, actually, for people to turn to drugs for the release of hypertension without any consideration of the lifestyle and diet-related components. In all reality, however, these factors, the diet and lifestyle, can be exceedingly powerful and should not be overlooked. A better way to treat hypertension is to remove the bad and negative elements from the body system that actually cause the disease in the first place. So let's first talk about diet. Diet is the number one weapon in the fight against hypertension as well as other dreaded diseases. It's a must for individuals who have high blood pressure to follow a well-balanced diet which is low in sodium along with adequate exercise and enough sleep. You want to avoid the sources that contribute to hypertension such as drinking alcohol, smoke, smoking, too much worrying, lack of sleep, a high sodium diet, lots of animal based foods, and foods that are high in fat. Among all foods, meat and eggs are known to cause high blood pressure the most. Truly, by changing your diet to a plant-based food, you will surely notice a big difference in your health. Now, a diet that's low in protein, low in sodium, low in fat, and free from cholesterol has actually been shown to be superior to lower your blood pressure and also to decrease blood clotting. In fact, having at least three servings of fruit every day will be very powerful to help prevent you from having hypertension or worsening hypertension. Particularly fruits that contain potassium, calcium, and magnesium are very helpful. And these fruits include pineapple, mandarin, lemon, apples, grapes, raspberries, kiwi, pomegranate, prickly pear, cherry, cranberry, strawberry, apricots, dates, prunes, watermelon, tomatoes, avocados, cantaloupe, and bananas. All of these are known to be very effective to help reduce high blood pressure. Obviously, there's a lot of variety there. And vegetables as a whole are often known as quote-unquote miracle foods because vegetables treat, reverse, and prevent so many diseases. So having a natural diet that's based on plant food is highly recommended for anyone who has high blood pressure. Eating the vegetables raw is at the, the best form because cooking can sometimes destroy nutrients. And you also want to beware of canned vegetables because they often contain a lot of sodium, which should really be avoided by anyone who has hypertension. And there's a lot of vegetables in particular that are known to be effective for hypertension. So some of the best ones are celery, onions, tomatoes, carrots, broccoli, and garlic. In fact, garlic in particular is to be considered by many to be a quote-unquote wonder drug for the heart. You can take one clove of garlic every day or you can incorporate it into your food such as in your soups, salads, or any other entrees. And a lot of spices and herbs also are rich in compounds that have been proven to lower blood pressure. Specifically, there's oregano, basil, fennel, onion powder, black pepper, parsley, and tarragon. So you can see there's a lot of variety of foods and spices that can help you lower your blood pressure naturally. So let's talk about the other side of the coin. Food that's influenced by the typical American diet should really be avoided. And these are processed foods such as hot dogs, bacon, bologna, ham, sausages, luncheon meats, and corned beef. These are all exceptionally high in sodium. And sodium is very well connected to cause increased blood pressure. 
and even canned fish like salmon, tuna, mackerel, and sardines should really be decreased or eliminated. They're also very high in sodium. And dairy products should ideally be taken out of your diet. Cheese in particular is very high in sodium, so it should be avoided or eliminated. A lot of people don't realize how high sodium cheese really is. And if you have hypertension, salt in your diet must be controlled. You really want to minimize your cravings for salty foods such as potato chips, pretzels, pizza, hamburgers, egg, bagels, and food that have a lot of flavored coatings. And you'll want to be aware of the common sauces sometimes people use. Ketchup, barbecue sauce, steak sauce, fish sauce, and soy sauce are actually all high in sodium and you really want to watch that if you have high blood pressure. So now let's move away from the diet and talk momentarily about exercise. Exercising daily is really vital to treating and managing your hypertension. It truly helps regulate the blood pressure. It also often leads to weight loss, which further helps you control your blood pressure. So it's important to devote some time every day for your regular, regular workout, even if it's just brisk walking. This will contribute in a huge way to treating your high blood pressure. So if you do suffer from hypertension, you are recommended to strictly follow a well-planned balanced diet based on the guidelines I just provided. You will benefit immensely by committing to a regular exercise routine. And many people actually adopt a healthy plant-based diet and successfully lose enough weight that they no longer even require blood pressure medications. So, that's very inspirational, hopefully, for you. As always, I encourage you to work with your doctor and adopt these new healthy guidelines. By adopting these recommendations, I think you're really going to be in an optimal position to successfully control your hypertension and create a new, healthier, and more energetic life. So I, I hope you found this useful and stimulating. This is Dr. Janet Bruno wishing you a healthy and a happy day.